we are here uh, packing as uh, a car ready to leave tonight uh, for our team. Uh, also, we bring some humanitarian aid and we will hopefully see them in a couple of hours. Uh, we brought some uh, personal things for the team, a water cooker, microwave, uh, so they can prepare some warm food, uh, some new shoes and socks and yeah, whatever a team needs which works under these conditions uh, in Ukraine today. We are starting our tour to Ukraine. Uh, it's Sunday morning at 5.37. And here is Tanya. Our hero from Ukraine and Kashish and Johannes. So thank you for all prayers and we hope soon to see our team in, in Ukraine. We are on our way to the Ukraine border. I think we have uh, some things to, for the people that we can share with them and also give hope and uh, hopefully God blesses us on this mission. Well, we are now uh, Almost at the border, a few hundred meters more in Polish territory. So we pray, Lord, open the way through the borders. Now we are at the border. We already waited a long time. They said the border is closed. Ukrainian don't let people in, but now it moved a little bit. So hopefully it will go on soon. Here we see some uh, crossing by food. Most come with, 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 a, with a bus or by car at this crossing. We just saw like someone in wheelchair and soldiers are helping them, carrying their bags. So on the flag it says, here you are safe on the Polish flag. Just left Poland. We are now on Ukrainian side, uh, waiting to come through. So praise God, no problem in Poland. Only took us like one hour at the border. So here you can see people waiting now on the Ukrainian side. Just heard they were almost like 10 kilometers from here. So we don't tell it anybody before we come back. So yeah. people are not getting worried. Uh, God knows where we are and his angels are around us. We are now enter entered in Ukraine. Praise God, we crossed the border without problems. Now we bless Ukraine. Look here, the, uh, the dirt and everything, because people leave everything behind. But it seems not more so many. Uh, uh, here, here is a crossing where people do not walk over. So it just uh, is by cars and trucks. Look, the line of, of trucks here. Oh. like 122 kilometers to meet our team and for Tanya's husband it will be a surprise his wife after two weeks maybe two weeks yeah for maybe an hour two hours it really needs prayer but it brings God's people home and that's what said in Jeremiah 16 16 it's times of hunters First, the times of fishers. Here we have a fisher with us, Tanya. Mm. Tanya, how many Jewish people you helped to Israel? Maybe thousands. Thousands, yeah. Yeah, many. over the years. Many, many thousands over the years. She, how many years are you working with Ebenezer, Tanya? 20 years. 20 years, Tanya has with Ebenezer helped thousands to come to Israel, but still, thousands are in the country. So. Uh, and now is the time of hunters, obviously. So let's pray, uh, really, that God intervenes and that all uh, can come out who want to come out. Hier ist eine der Busse, die zu Ulim äh, hier rausbringen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. 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 shalom.
Шалом. Шалом. Ты же слышишь, я в принципе держусь. А я пошел. Мы с Вадим. Мы просто распаковали наши вещи здесь. И вы можете слышать сирены в background. Так что это атака здесь. Но... We trust in the Lord. Uh, you see here people coming down. Here is our reception place. It is incredible. Uh, we made it here, so praise the Lord. It's the place where our Ebenezer family lives at the moment. Beautiful hotel here. Office, sleeping room, everything for our Ebenezer team here. Uh, okay, guys, thank you for your support. We are glad to, feel, to have your guidance here with the team. And uh, yeah, stand with us in prayer. Uh, it's uh, not easy here. And just uh, when uh, your guidance and the team arrived, uh, there was an air raid sign here. But hopefully we will survive. God is with us, so we trust the Lord. Amen. You can hear the sirens. It's another attack. While our drivers go and pick up people, help people to get their visa uh, to come out, to come to Israel. We are on our way back to the border, more or less another 63 kilometers to the border. Uh, we took a little bit different road back, it's, yeah, if it would not be for the roadblock, looks more or less normal he is alive uh, from outside of course but no one knows how long the corridor will be open especially for from East Ukraine and from Kiev we heard many reports that very soon the Russians want to close any corridor out so it uh, may cause a different uh, or new wave of refugees a new wave of refugees which will be even much larger than what we have seen the last two weeks. So we have to expect uh, this is not over. It's maybe just the beginning of something much larger. So because we are humanitarian, uh, we are allowed to drive behind this bus and all these cars here, all these trucks waiting like 15, 20 hours. Here are some volunteers uh, reparting food or drinks. Look, here's a mound of people. Sie fahren in die falsche Richtung. Children playing. Hier sieht man die Spur für die Hilfsautos und hier die Spur für die äh, normalen. Das sind alles Flüchtlinge hier drüben. Das ist unglaublich, ja. ja, ja. Here we are at the border, we crossed Ukraine, we are now at the Polish border and another group of uh, refugees walking, walking, look, basically that's what they have, a bag, especially the ones with the children, I mean, what do you carry, uh, a small uh, bag sack, your child, hallelujah, we uh, made it, we are back in Poland after more or less yeah, it was not bad, 12, 12 hours, a bit more than 12 hours. We have one passenger uh, with us and it's great to have helped and to, that we could see our team. So we, we, we thank the Lord for all who prayed for us. We thank the Lord for his protection and that we can uh, soon be back on our base. Hallelujah.